you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 6th second sunday of season of advent let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 1 verses 1 to 8 the beginning of the good news of jesus christ son of god as it is written in the prophet isaiah see i am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way the voice of one crying out in the wilderness prepare the way of the lord make his paths straight john the baptist appeared in the wilderness proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins and people from the whole judean countryside and all the people of jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river jordan confessing their sins now john was clothed with a camel hair with a leather belt around his waist and he ate locusts and wild honey he proclaimed the one who is more powerful than i is coming after me i am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals i have baptized you with water but he will baptize you with the holy spirit the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends we continue our preparation for the coming of jesus that is we are preparing to celebrate his coming among us a newborn baby in jerusalem therefore it is a special time for us to remember with deep gratitude god's great love for us god so loved the world that he sent his only son today's gospel tells us to prepare for that coming and that remembering that uh, celebrating it does so by speaking about john the baptist preparing people to welcome the coming of jesus as he begins his public life his mission john had already becoming a famous person in his own right that is clear from the number of people who came out to see him and that he attracted the attention of king herod and of the religious leaders in jerusalem he led a very austere life in the desert dressed in rough clothes made of a camel skin john was clearly a man of god and the people admired and trusted him as a person of holiness and integrity repent repent here does not mean just being sorry for the past it is a call for them to do much more than that it changes their ways to repent in the gospel involves involves a radical transformation in our way of life it means conversion a real turning around a redirecting of one's whole life two things to remember we can learn here which we relevant to our christmas preparation first we ourselves needed to prepare for the kingdom of jesus coming of jesus and not by just to uh, prepare christmas confession to tidy ourselves up and get rid of some of things peter in today's second reading says tell us that uh, a day with the lord can be a hundred years this is probably directed at those who thought that the lord was coming soon at the same time he also wants that coming can be a very sudden as we all know is very true we all know people we have been take away from us very suddenly without warning since everything is coming to an end like this you should be living holy and saintly lives while we wait and long for the day 
of the God to come. And second, John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus to come into our lives. The first reading speaks about the filling in valleys, smoothing out mountains and hills, transforming cliffs into plains and ridges into valleys. In other words, removing all the obstacles that get into the way of our meeting with Jesus. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all men can shall see it. That is also our role as Christmas. It is only through what we say and do what others can come to know Jesus. So many people we know face many obstacles in getting to know the real Jesus. So my dear friends, that's what each of us should be doing. Perhaps go up to the mountain, joyful messenger to John, sign, shout with a loud voice, joyful messenger to Jerusalem. So each of us should say and prepare ourselves to meet our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless us.